One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. We just did an engine detail on this 93 Thunderbird, and now we're gonna do wheels and tires. Check out my website, hipstercars.com, and oneownercarguy.com, giving you a before. Now, when you're doing the wheels and tires, it's important to just go ahead and do the wheel wells as well. Just, you might as well, it'll make it look so much better. And you can see all that before. And I'm gonna show you the back one before. And I almost didn't do this one because the auction bumped it and I almost did it from the other side for the detail. But then I figured the way this thing sets, it's giving us a little shadow and a little light. We're doing it from this side. Now, armor all and all that kind of stuff is not the best thing for your wheels if you're just gonna spray it over it and try and make it work. It don't work. And if you're gonna use a brush, a softer brush like this is not the kind to use. It ain't gonna do anything to it. Um, if you do enough cars, go to Walmart or wherever you're gonna go and get one of these. And you'll notice there's a little bit of a, a tilt to it there. And the tilt is for your tire. And it perfectly is gonna make your tire look beautiful. On something like this, same thing as the motor, it's always best to get it a little wet. And that one ain't going to stay wet long enough, so I ain't going to worry about it. With your degreaser, I'm wishing I would have taken a picture now. I'll have to get a freeze frame. I can do that nowadays. Okay, so I'm going to give this to Nick. And I'm going to put some of this on. You should see when you spray some of your grease around, it starts running off. If you've got the right kind of stuff, it should do it for you. It should do part of your job for you. Showing up close to this crap running off. And you'll notice here and I'm taking a little extra time to show that but just that's what it should be it should be running off there and then you got to get into this thing and not just scrub it back and forth you'll notice there's little lines in these parts of the tires unless you actually go back and forth like this and get that dirt to lift up out of there when you go to put the armor all on it, it's just gonna sit on top and float there and look like hell. It's not gonna last as long. The product ain't gonna look as good. And here's the next thing. Don't let this stuff dry on here. No way, shape, or form. And always remember, you're leaving a little bitty, titty bitty down here that you're not getting. I like to put a little bit more on it. Set for a second. Give it a final scrub every which way you can. You want to get these lines in and out, in and out, and not just this way. Once you got that bad boy done, it is best to have a power washer. No two ways about it. Yes, you can do this without a power washer. But why? You can see that water running off there. Absolutely for it. Come right here and get from the side if you will. You want to keep your power wash in the same exact distance away. Come over here a little bit more. And you'll see the stream. So in other words, don't move in here and out here or you'll get dry spots and stuff on your tire. That is your tire. Now, the one thing I didn't do and was not set up for 100%, show them up close to it. When you're doing your tires, there's no reason not to do your wheels as well. Uh, same kind of cleaning process. Um, toothbrushes sometimes, depending on your wheels. But these wheels are nice and they deserve to be cleaned up before the car. 
like this. It's softer bristles and everything. On a large flat area like that, it's totally a great place to use a larger brush, especially on the plastic rubbery type insert. If you can see it, you should brush it. Don't let it dry up, same as everything else. Also, at the same time, I'm not going to get into it a lot. You get your undercarriage and everything as well. It's really easy to get a power washer in here, sit down on the ground. Time. It's gonna be kind of dry. 